we have essentially a four-step process that we handle all of our cases through. You know, step one is the initial intake of the information from the client. Step two is discovering all of the information that's in the hands of the government. Step three is that independent investigation that we bring to the table that I think a lot of attorneys really overlook. Um, and that's where this comes in um, for these, these cases, is we wanna do that thorough investigation. Um, step four is of course, bringing all that information back to the client and giving them a thorough uh, analysis of what evidence is reliable, what evidence is admissible, and how that evidence is gonna play into the presentation to a jury who's ultimately gonna de decide their fate. When we're doing that investigation, we want to look at the broader picture. Um, and there's no, there's no appropriate situation to blame a victim of any sex crime. That is absolutely inappropriate. Somebody who's actually been victimized uh, in that manner absolutely deserves all of the benefits and respect that they can possibly receive. But when we're investigating these sorts of things, we wanna make sure that we look at the entirety of their life. Is this something that they engage in on a regular basis? And now they're making an allegation against our particular client. And, and what is the motivation behind that allegation? And so that thorough investigation is what really needs to be done. And of course, law enforcement doesn't have a motive to do that. Their motive is to find evidence to prove the guilt of the person that they intend to accuse, arrest, and indict. And that's, in my opinion, the biggest failing of modern law enforcement. It used to be when you talk about, um, you know, the, uh, the Andy Griffiths of the world, they would go out and they would do an investigation and they would look at both sides of the story. They would gather up all the evidence and then make a decision as to whether somebody's responsible or not uh, of a particular criminal allegation. What we find today more and more is that law enforcement and the prosecutors that prosecute the crimes that they get brought aren't looking at the full picture. They're not doing a thorough investigation. They're doing a one-sided investigation. And what we want to do is make sure that we do both sides of that investigation. Now, if that investigation reveals that this was a criminal sex act, this was a criminal sexual assault, then what we want to do is we want to move into a phase of mitigation of that behavior and reducing it and making sure that it doesn't happen in the future. But if our investigation reveals that there are ulterior motives, that there is a reason why somebody might try to blackmail their, uh, their, sex, tra their sex work boss, then we want to make sure that we present that evidence in an open forum to objective jurors who can make a decision as to what's true and what's not true.